Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again, it is time for a squat day. But a quick reminder for those of you who watch these videos, please remember to click like down below. Uh, it'd be greatly appreciated. So, came back from my deload. Today wasn't a great day for squats. Now, I have found a position that feels perfect on my shoulders. Uh, very, very happy with this grip uh, as far as my shoulders go. But I'm a little under the weather, and let's just put it this way. I can't taste or smell anything. So that should narrow it down a little bit. Uh, <laughs> making my cut easy, though. So super deep breathing has not been the best. And accordingly, I just could not maintain my bracing on the squat today. So 425 for 8 on my 5 plus week coming back. Both kind of getting out of my groove on the deload, struggling a little bit with holding a really deep breath to brace. Um, I only got eight reps, right? And you guys can kind of see on, on the eighth rep, uh, the form degrading a little, my chest caving a little bit. And it's partially, I might be due to me adjusting the way I'm, I'm doing this, having to get into the groove of, of a slightly different grip. And, you know, of course I'm doing full, full high bar at this point. Got a pretty narrow stance, high bar. Uh, and being able to get a deep enough breath to really brace the way that I would like and stay tight and keep that chest up. All right, we're going to need to keep working on that. Okay, that's going to be a potential issue for me. So I need to be on top of that and really focus on that. So I need to make sure my back is strong. Uh, again, quads could be still be a limit there too. Because again, I notice the way that my, my hips do come up, especially now that I'm a little doing the high bar stuff, I do need to continue to get quads and adductors stronger. So they're gonna be a heavy focus, but if you guys notice that eighth rep, um, I was really just struggling to maintain a brace. And, and it's a number of factors involved, uh, but it is what it is. I mean, it still puts me at, at good strength for a max, but I'm, I'm definitely feeling the cut at this point. Absolutely feeling it. Uh, and I'll just be glad when the cut is over and I can maintain it at kind of a certain weight and do mini bulks and cuts inside the same weight range and get that strength way back up. And that's going to happen later in the year. Uh, it should be pretty obvious, I think, to people at this point, as hard as I've been trying to cut, that uh, I'm not super far out from regionals. I'm not going to give an exact date or where, but it's not far. Not far at all. Uh, so... I noticed kind of kind of the same thing, really struggling uh, with with the breathing for the high reps on these uh, SSB squats. And yeah, I'm doing my boring but big with the SSB because I'm like, well, if I'm going to do kind of, of high bar squatting on the back squat, I can do my main work on it and I can do my boring but big off the safety bar. And that's fine. And I'm just running the same percentages. Like I'm, I'm running it as if, you know, my max on the SSB is the same. Uh, and again, I could definitely kind of tell that difference in the bracing today, All right? I could definitely feel it. So I need to recover soon, um, taking all the appropriate measures to do that, All right? Taking all the appropriate measures uh, to keep myself uncongested, recovering, um, sleeping plenty, but I can't, I can't end my cut. All right, so we have to maintain the small calorie deficit. I don't really have a choice. Uh, fortunately, as I've said, I don't care about hitting big numbers at regionals. I've just got to make weight. All right, I just have to make weight and qualify. That's it. Got to set that ego to the side. And that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. But again, today's workout was not exactly fun. Uh, I got the work done. It was it was a bit grueling today. I don't feel too bad afterwards. In fact, I got to go do uh, some other stuff, get some errands done, walk with my <laughs> weighted vest and everything. Uh, so I'll get all of that done. But yeah, the workout today was grueling, uh, mainly just because of all the high rep leg work, uh, the the trouble bracing by trying to really hold deep breaths for you know long sets, right? Of getting a new new deep breath each time. Uh, but again, we made it through it. Uh, I didn't do as, uh, 10 sets of supplemental squatting, though. I did five on the safety bar. And then for my uh, belt squat, I decided to do the belt squat instead of the goblet today. Because again, if I'm struggling up top, 
let's at least get the leg work in, right? Get the leg work in, so I decided to use my belt squat. And again, we're just trying to do almost an Olympic style stance, Olympic squat stance. Again, want to really, really, really hammer the legs. Quads and adductors, quads and adductors. And of course, I'll be doing more back work again. As you guys notice, I've incorporated reverse hypers and stuff again on the deadlift day. Uh, that's, that's all come back in. Um, probably going to start adding neck work back in again soon too. All right. Over time, I want to start adding the neck extensions back in. It would probably be a good idea. Uh, I thought about doing them today, but held off for the day. I'll probably do them on, on a deadlift day, though. And I may start doing them on squat and deadlift day both. Uh, even though I kind of think of them as more of a deadlift accessory. But kind of kind of on these two, I notice again, uh, this, this deep of breathing for 10 rep sets. I'm definitely feeling it today. Not as bad as some of my clients who, who've gone through this. Not as bad, but definitely noticeable. Um, so really just eight sets of supplemental squatting. So five on the SSB, five by 10 on the SSB, three by 10 on the belt squat. My quads though were pretty lit. Quads and adductors, I felt them both. They got pretty well lit up from all this, plenty of work for them. And then I did five sets of hanging leg raises. And I'm gonna start doing these on ab day. I'm not gonna try to do them every workout. I don't need 20 sets or 15 sets or whatever of these every week necessarily. But I'd like to get five sets in if possible on my squat day because they, they really are a squat accessory. Then I'll do a few through the week here and there. I'll do a couple of them on camera uh, like I've been doing for you guys in the morning. And I, again, that's, that's plenty of ab work because uh, I'm doing so much standing supplemental stuff, squatting and pulling and, and everything else. Um, I don't need huge amounts of ab work because I do a few crutches and stuff at night sometimes. So I feel like five good sets of these on squat day will work great because again, it's a squat accessory, right? It's not just abdominals. It's one of the best abdominal exercises ever, but it's the adductors involved. And I wanna make sure those adductors are growing. Really, really, really important uh, for getting my squat up, All right? It's gonna be really important for getting my squat up because I feel like now at this point in the cut, it's really getting hammered in because people were estimating my squat off some of that rep work with some really high numbers uh, on some of those better plus sets. But again, I'm not, I'm not able to sustain that at this point. And, you know, we'll get back up to that, I think, again, after the cut's over, uh, everything else. Finish the cut, finish regionals, and I think we'll start seeing me push those numbers way back up. I did work off of a 500 training max today, though, instead of a 495. And I think deadlift, I'm going to raise it up and just do it at 600. Um, but really, I don't plan on ever again putting more than 500 on a squat or 600 on a deadlift uh, outside of beats again. Uh, I feel like if I can work off of training maxes that don't make me ever go over those, you know, even for rep work, uh, it'll be fine. I don't have to lift that heavy to hit bigger numbers in comp. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.